Hello boys and girls, how are we? I thought I would sit down and do a makeup tutorial today. I feel like, I feel like it's been a hot second since I've done one. Also been a while since I've done a drugstore makeup tutorial. So I really wanted to do a kind of like a pretty soft glam today using some new drugstore products. Not all of them are new products actually, that is a lie. But mostly like newer products that I've picked up recently or have been sent in PR um, as well as some older products. I went ahead and did my eyebrows and primed my eyes off camera. So I used a mix of two brow pencils. I used the NYX Professional Makeup micro brow pencil in the shade ash brown that is pretty much what i use for the most of my brows to like pencil them out and create the shape and then i also use a little bit of the sleek makeup micro micro fine brow pencil in the shade what shade is this please oh it's also ash brown actually really easy to use um the next one is really really smooth which i love and then i feel like the sleek one is a little bit more waxy so it gave a little bit more texture which i really like and then i also use some of the nyx born to glow concealer to prime the eyes this is the shade light ivory so i'm going to be using this on the skin later as concealer and cream bronzer so i'm really excited to test it out on the skin what we would get out a palette that I have literally had for the longest time and I just have not got around to filming with so this is the NYX swear by it palette which I see so many good things about this I've seen Jordan use this many times I know she really loves it um, NYX shadows in general I always usually really like so thought we would give this a go what to start off with we wonder what am I doing what am I actually doing these two mattes are like screaming my name like these are me in a color. Maybe, maybe, <laughs> maybe we'll do these shades, like the more orangey ones and then come into these colors. Ooh. Okay, so I'm just starting on the outer corner and then slowly bringing it in. That is sitting so well and literally blending so well. Like that's blending by itself and I'm not even really doing anything. Oh my God, I actually can't get over how pretty that is and how quick, like just, quick and easy that was to put in the crease. Maybe we'll do more of like an orangey look today because I've not done that for a while. Maybe I'll use, I might use this one instead. Like these two. Oh girl, that is so pretty. Oh my God, these are literally blending so well. Like, I don't know why I'm acting so shocked because I knew this was gonna be good. <laughs> I just can't believe I've not got around to using it sooner. This has been in my collection for the longest time, the longest time and I've just, not got round to filming with it. Oh my god, I was actually supposed to be filming, well not filming, I was actually supposed to be uploading a different video today, so basically, if anyone follows me on Instagram, you will have seen that me, Rachel, like Kayla, Amber, like a bit of a group of us went to Bongo's Bingo the other night in Manchester. Okay, quickly, I'm just gonna go in with these two. I was gonna film like a spend the night with me, so I filmed the makeup, like I did all my makeup on camera and stuff, I was like vlogging it. And then I just completely forgot to film the actual night out. And I swear to God, the amount of times I have done this where I really want to film like a spend the night with me and like make it a really fun, cute vlog and stuff. And then I just totally forget because I'm just having like the best time and I just forget to get the camera out. So yeah, I do want to do some more like spend the days and spend the night with me soon. So I might upload one next week actually. Also, I've literally got like no fake tan on at the minute because I've been so lazy like the past week. I don't know if this is just me or if anyone else is in the same situation, but I actually just can't face it. <laughs> I've just been living on using instant tan at the minute when I go out in the evenings because I actually just cannot be bothered to do a full body of time right now. Oh my gosh, I'm like living for this. And do you know what? I have nothing to do today. So I can just tell I'm going to film this makeup. I've literally got no plans. Well, I've got plans, but not like plans where I need to look cute. Do you know what I'm saying? I feel like I'm going to film this and my makeup's going to look 10 out of 10 and it's going to be a waste. <laughs> so, oh my God, I actually look at the colors there. Like, I'm obsessed. Okay, I am gonna do a little smoky liner. You guys know I can't live without a smoky liner. So I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna use this color and a little bit of the black. Okay, so I'm just gonna stamp here and then just gonna start dragging it back. That was actually a really good liner if I do say so myself. Okay, and then I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the sleek, um, what is this? The Life Proof 12 Hour Wear black male liner. I'm gonna use this in the tight line because I can't use my Anastasia gel because that's not drugstore. So I'm gonna use pencil today. And then I'm also gonna use it to like 
add a bit of definition to the lashes, I think. So I'm kind of just going to smudge it in. And then again, I'm just going to go over just to smudge it in. Not bad. You can see like the difference. That one's just a little bit more defined, but it still looks a bit smoky, whereas that one isn't and i just find that doing this kind of helps to blend the lashes if you are going to wear false lashes otherwise i would just skip this step and just use the shadow by itself because obviously it does take more time so for lashes i was going to use my backstage beauty rodeo jive lashes because they're literally my favorite cruelty free lashes of all time and they're not technically drugstore but they are affordable if you know what i'm saying but i didn't want to cheat if i couldn't if i i didn't want to cheat if i didn't have to cheat if that makes sense i'm going to use the kiss lash couture because i really really love these lashes as well um i used these in my halloween tutorial back in october if anyone saw that okay lashes are on i actually forgot how much i love these lashes so i'm very happy that i've used them okay, i'm going to talk you through what i do when i instant tan because i'm going to put a little bit of tan on just because i haven't got anything on right now and i know my foundation is going to be a little bit dark okay i'm going to use a little bit of of the Bondi Sands Body Moisturizer. Um, this was recently sent in PR and I'm obsessed with it. It's really, really thick and creamy on the skin, but it also works really well with tan, which it does actually say on the back that it's self-tan friendly. Always, always, always want to moisturize your neck. Even if you're not putting tan on, it's really important. But I also just find that if you are putting tan on, <laughs> Um, it stops it from clinging to any dry patches. I find that my neck does get quite dry. And then another place that I like to do is like this area here. Um, again, I find that tan, like around my armpits, like the skin here as well, tends to break up quite quickly. So just any places where my skin gets dry or the tan breaks down, I always moisturize. And I do this with normal tan as well, not just with instant. Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and use the U-Tan Skin Idol, which is one of Jamie Genevieve's products in collaboration with them. Okay, so I'm gonna take about that much. Oh my God. <laughs> That whole thing just dropped onto my joggers. Literally the whole fucking thing, right? You know what? <laughs> Me and you tan are about to fall out. Oh my god, I actually forgot how dark this is. But here we are. <laughs> here we are, boys and girls. I think I've just got a big blob of tan. Okay, on to skin. I'm going to start off with the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream which is one of my favorite moisturizers at the minute. I actually really, really like this. But yeah, I do tend to do moisturizer like immediately before foundation as well, just because my skin is so dry. Okay, I'm gonna go in with the NYX Bear With Me Jelly Primer. I actually really, really love this primer. It's very hydrating on the skin, leaves your skin feeling a little bit tacky, which I personally really like. It's a bit fiddly. <laughs> it's like a jelly consistency but it's so nice on one of my favorite drugstore foundations at the minute is the nyx born to glow um i've got the shade buff and the shade beige so the shade beige is what i would usually use if i've got tan on so probably will be using more so this but i might mix in a little bit of buff as well and then i really want to mix in the nyx high glass primer so i very recently just got sent this in pr i was actually at the NYX store yesterday as well to test it out. So thought we would mix this in to just give like a really nice luminous finish to the foundation. So I'm just applying that with a Luxie angled brush. I get so many questions about this brush all the time. I don't think it's actually designed for foundation. It's probably designed, I mean, I guess it is if it's just called an angled brush that like you can really use it for anything. Oh my God, it's literally one of my favorite brushes. You can see like how flawlessly it applies foundation to the skin and I feel like for this foundation especially you need a little bit more of like a stippling brush or like a fluffy brush rather than a buffing brush I don't really like applying this with a buff a buffing brush but yeah you can just see it looks really flawless it's not heavy at all it's actually very very lightweight on the skin this foundation it's kind of more of a medium coverage rather than a full I thought we would use a little bit of concealer to bronze just because I don't actually have a drugstore powder bronzer so this is the Born to Glow concealer in the shade, what shade is this? Cappuccino. This is pretty much gonna be the only drugstore bronzer that I've got to use because your girl's not got any powder ones right now, unfortunately. That's actually a really nice color for cream bronzer. I've not actually tried this for cream bronzer yet. That's actually a really nice color. You guys know I'm constantly on the hunt for good cream bronzers now ever since I had to give up. Um, my L'Oreal stick and I feel like that is going to be a really good contender. Okay and then I've got the Born to Glow in the shade Medium Olive which I'm going to try and then also 
in the shade light ivory which i'm going to mix in as well just because i do want to add a little bit of brightness back into the face yeah that would be too dark by itself anyway so we'll start off with a little bit of that the thing about this one though is it's a bit pink for my skin but we can make do <laughs> we can improvise blends in so easily this concealer um, i'm going to apply a little bit more of the lighter one seeing as we've got quite a lot to spare on the applicator and I never apply concealer on the rest of my face straight away just because I kind of like to balance out with what's left on the sponge so you can see already like I had excess there to use so I tend to just start under my eyes and then I can always add more if needs be put the brightness down so you can see that is what the skin is looking like. Okay, and then, as I said, I've not got a powder bronzer, and the one other thing that I don't own right now is a drugstore powder, just because I did have um, drugstore powders and drugstore bronzers, but because I've gone cruelty-free this year, I had to kind of get rid of everything in my collection that wasn't cruelty-free, so I had some from, like, Maybelline and Rimmel and stuff. Um, all of my sleek ones and my NYX ones are actually at the office, so I don't actually have them right now, so gonna have to make do with this instead which is my milk makeup powder which you guys know I've really been loving recently so I'm just gonna dip in and begin but yeah I tend to use a slightly lighter concealer with this powder as well I mean it's not the most expensive powder it's a lot cheaper than my YSL one so if you're like on a budget but you still don't mind spending a little bit extra than like NYX or Maybelline or whatever it is I really recommend this. It's really good. If you care about being cruelty free, otherwise get whatever you want. And then I'm just gonna get rid of the excess. Okay, so that is what the skin looks like after powder. And then we may as well finish off the eyes whilst we're here. So I'm gonna go back into this palette and just mix all of the shades that we used on the lids. I'm really in the mood to like go shopping today. I mean, my mood every single day, but still, like I'm really in the mood to go so like the travel center and have a shop in like Zara, which I never really shop in Zara, but I've just had a sudden urge to like go and see what there is. I think it's because I was talking to Mill the other day and she'd bought some stuff from Zara for a holiday. And when I was at lunch with the next girls yesterday, everyone was talking about Zara and now I just have a sudden urge to like go and see what there is. And I also feel like picking up a bunch of new products i kind of fancy going into boots and just doing like a drugstore shop maybe i'll go to kiko as well because i feel like kiko will have some really nice bronzers for me to try okay and then to be honest i don't really know if we need powder bronzer i mean i'm gonna use a little bit anyway just because i want to contour my nose but i feel like the nyx concealer has done a perfectly good job by itself of adding like the bronziness to the skin i'm gonna use a tiny bit of fenty just to kind of set it down. I'm hardly using any product really. And I am also gonna contour my nose with Miss Fenty. I'm gonna quickly set my brows down with some of the Revolution Brow Gel. This is just the clear one, but I feel like it makes your brows really feathery, which I really like. Okay, and then highlighter. Again, we've got a new NYX product. This is the High Glass highlighter which is in the shade moon glow i actually swatched this before and it feels very like creamy like cream to powder finish but it just kind of makes your skin look really wet looking which i love like it's not like a it's not like a glittery highlighter i mean that is actually beaming it's not like a glittery highlighter it's like a glass looking highlighter which is probably why it's called high glass i feel like in summertime as well this would be so pretty just to like put on the skin if you're not wearing anything else or say if you're having like a pool day on holiday i feel like it would be really pretty for that i've got two options for lip liners so we've got the nyx lingerie push-up liners and also one by sleek which is the locked up no words lip liner so i might just quickly swatch okay i think i'm gonna go with the sleek one actually because it's a little bit more of an orange tone so i feel like it'll complement the eyes really well so i'm gonna apply that and then also a lipstick from Revolution. This is one of the newer lipsticks as well. I got sent this in PR. It's in the shade Reveal and I think it's part of like an animal collection. I mean it must be because it's like cheetah print. I can't remember what collection it's from but I'll try and link it down below. Okay, and then I'm going to use a tiny bit of fortune cookie 
just to top it off. We've also got a drugstore setting spray, which again is NYX. I feel like the majority of this video has just been NYX, but they're one of my favorite drugstore brands. So this is the Radiant Finish. I actually recently got sent this and I've not used it yet. So this is the Radiant Finish setting spray. Okay, so this is the finished look. I really hope you guys liked it and enjoyed seeing me use some new drugstore products. Let me know if you've tried any and what videos you want to see next because I would love to know. Um, I'm going to get going. I love you guys as always and I'll see you in the next one.